shortcut. We can walk it. Believe me. Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwood. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. The door didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. Are raiders warring with one another now? Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. More over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the state was down? Or who didn't cock up the protection spell altogether? Almost to the bridge. Oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, Mark? I had dreams calling me here. Dreams. Whoa, that one's still alive. No, look closer. Ah, Hell Raiders now? Who's doing it? Too much to hold for an enemy of theirs to be a friend of ours. Seriously, who'd be stringing up raiders like that? You see something down there? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. When did this bridge collapse? Oh, a while ago. Wasn't me. Well, now, just need to find a way around. <laughs> Whatever it is, it works fast. <laughs> Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. Look 
Pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the giant. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep it. Too late. Use your blade. Burn them. Time to point out. Lisa! Find you! Look at it!
Isn't it nice how Fimblewind turned wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on to you. We climb. On it. Kill. Winterman. Yup. You got it. Wonder who they mean. He has gotten rather good at that. <sighs> Yet another grizzly scene. Nista! Find you! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one morning. Brother!
thimble winter freer, the raiders saw no and barging in, and now stalkers prey in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. That should help. There we go. Come on. Ah. Things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble Winter wears down all things, even stone. <laughs> you watching? new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free. Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. It's not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. 
See? Hattie's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait. I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No, I found it in one of the other shrines. Oh, that's right. How many have you visited? I've, well, all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is, but it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth, but we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Beating Earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the Bleeding Earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Tears and Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. That looks kind of cracked there. There's a shortcut this way. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Mumira, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Ah. 
Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. He's coming fire! curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartacus... Useful equipment for us. Enough. You will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. <laughs> you won't be sorry. Is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Mm. Well, if you'll follow me, 
Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. You're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. Brother, I think we both know it's not safe here. Hate to say it, but we should talk to Sindri. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the Realm Between Realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, if your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky, everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just, it's just, there's, it's just a lot of mud. And why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was, Something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder Brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast! How'd that get in here? When the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. Yeah, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do.
kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. I knew you wanted a snack. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of minds, you realize. 
You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mon. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin. <laughs> If that ain't giving a hound a haircut, huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asperagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. You hear that? 